So check this out. I just proved in one of the older videos, logically, using only the tools of logic, that there is a God. How'd you do that, Rabbi? Well, check it out. If there is no God, and we are randomly occurred here, then there is no such thing as right or wrong. Now, atheists will tend to dispute this, but this is actually not disputable. There is no objective morality if there is no God. None. No such thing as right and wrong. And an a lion kills a zebra. It's not wrong. It just is. There is no God. There is no such thing as an objective morality. Every single time we start talking about morality, we all, always have a reference point outside of human agency. Always. Even when you're talking with a atheists. Well, you can't do that. Why not? Because it's just plain wrong. Who says? We're all we're always, whenever we talk about morality, we are always referring to a third party. We are always, always referring to something outside of ourselves. We're always referencing a source. A just plain wrong. A universal truth. A universal truth. Even if you're an atheist, you do recognize the concept that there is such a thing as, an, as, a, as a universal truth outside of human agency. And every time we talk about morality, we reference it. And if you're saying we don't, you're not telling the truth. And if you're saying, well, there is no inherent subject, it's, it's all subjective, right or wrong, then go down the street and kill somebody. Or go do something really, really wrong. I'm not saying that glibly. Something will stop you. When you start to do things that are wrong, something stops you. Something hidden in your heart, a conscience. There is an inner voice that blocks you from doing that, stops you. That already is God. If there is a universal truth, if there is such a thing as a universal principle of right and wrong, a universal principle of justice, then we're already referencing something outside of human agency. Because every single one of us knows that no human is capable of that. Next step in logic is that's got to be God. Whatever that is, that's got to be God. Whatever it may be, man. Could be the force, dude. Could be some sort of Taoist, you know, nether, nether concept. An eternal dancing, whatever. It is God. We have already all, all agreed that there is a God. Because there is none of us that is so far gone that we don't recognize that there is an objective standard of right and wrong. And we also don't recognize that it is outside of human agency. It isn't decided by a man. It isn't decided by the will of man. Now, I can see you wrestling with this, but you have to think about what I'm actually saying. Think it through. If there is an objective standard, you're already in theological theist territory, whether you want to be or not. Now, we can dispute whether that's Jesus Christ, but we can't dispute that it's there. Because we all reference it. And we all know it's there. And we all live our lives knowing that it's there. It permeates every single thing we do on this earth. It runs through the Constitution of the United States of America. We believe these truths to be self-evident. What truths? We're a random collection of blips and blops. There are no truths, man. We're just bleeps and blips. We're just a cosmic accident. Then there are no eternal verities. There are no truths. If we are just... Nietzsche himself wrestled with this. And guess what? It drove him crazy. Why? Because you can't wrestle with this on the, on the atheistic side. You can if you're shallow. You can if you're Richard Dawkins. And you're not really thinking it through. Because you don't really care about the ramifications of your ideas. Yeah, you can wrestle with it easily. Go to lectures and think about how smart you are. But if you wrestle with it with integrity, 
with the actual implications and the ramifications, it'll drive you mad just like it drove Nietzsche mad. Because it's so obviously true. There is a right and wrong, and we all know it. Hence, there is a, a standard of right and wrong outside of human agency. That's already theist. Already. Before you even bring a Bible into the picture, you're already a theist. And we already all agree on that fact. So, I'd like to hear you try to argue that. I really want to hear it. But I can tell you right now, it's all going to be fake arguments. I can, I can hear them already and they're all going to be fake. Think about what I just said. Really wrestle with it down deep. It is the truth. And it can set you free. It is the truth. And the truth shall set you free.